Are you ready? Yeah. My next guest is a true pop sensation. Ladies and gentlemen, Latoya Jackson. No. Um, performing That's What I Think from her latest CD, Hat Full of Stars. Please get up for Cindy Lauper. A lot of things have gone on in your life since I last saw you. Tell me about the wedding, though. <laughs> well, Little Richard, can I? Yeah, oh, absolutely. That's what we got it for, chill. <laughs> little Richard officiated. Uh, no, what does that mean? Calling time I know, that's some big word. Oh, yeah. I know, no, he, he married her. Oh, like the preacher. Yeah, he was the preacher, and Patty sang, Patty LaBelle sang, and Rob Hyman from the Hooters played White a Shade of Pale, and that's what I walked up the aisle to, White a Shade of Pale. I thought that was pretty good. Yeah. And then Patty sang Come What May, so that was kind of, you know, was, yeah. What, what, what kind of preacher is Lil Richard? 
Was it good? He was nervous. Do you mind? No, Spencer? no, not at all. <laughs> um, what? It's, oh. it's oh. different than it was last time. It's it's different. And it's yeah. short. Yeah, it's easy. Easy up here. And it's pretty. Thank you. I don't know if that reads at home, but it's kind of lavender, kind of white. It's purple. Purple, white. And light lavender. Yes, yes, yes that's what I meant. <laughs> exactly. But no, how, how's little Richard? He was, he was great. He was, he was um, nervous, but he was so sweet. He is really a nice man. How can you tell when a preacher's nervous at a wedding? Because when he tripped going up to the podium and everybody laughed, oh. he said, shut up. And then, <laughs> and then it was like, and at the end, he introduced us as Mr. and Mrs. Thunder. So it was, because David took my name, I took, my, Dave, my husband's name is David Thornton. But oh. now it's David Lawford Thornton, and I'm Cindy Lawford Thornton. Because we traded names. And that's kind of like a 90s thing. No. Oh. I don't know. It was oh. our thing. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not that up on it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's your thing. Um, let's talk about the CD. I got to listen to it uh, again up in the dressing room right before the show. What's different about this than the music from the past? Um, this stuff... Uh, is that a trick question? No. I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, um, this stuff uh, was basically all of what I wanted to do with no compromise. This CD is really a Cindy. This is the closest thing to me that has ever been. So I'm really happy with it. I worked with my friends. I said yeah, yay or nay on everything. There was nobody else's stuff but mine and the group of people that I, work, that I chose to work with. And I worked with Junior Vasquez and he is slamming. Yeah. It was great. You know what's cool about the album is like you're sitting there and a cut will be slamming, you know, and you stop and pay attention or look at the lyric sheet and realize that slamming cut or that really nice groove is about something very serious. Well, I wanted to make a, a record that had like three levels. Like one, you could listen to the, like the rhythm, you could listen to the melody, or if you want to pick it up and read it, you could read it like a little book of short stories as mm. opposed to, you know, C-spot running. Yeah. No, no it, it's about it's about some like sexual that, harassment. There was something in there. Well, not really. There was like uh, I was watching the Core Channel because Allie, you you know Allie Willis. That's I wrote with Allie. Yes. And um, she, she and I were buddy buddies, and we were sitting around, and she likes to watch the Core Channel. I love it. I get I don't know. Sometimes I can't. Oh, I love it. it. Cynthia McFadden, the whole uh, crew yeah, there. I love like, the Core Channel. So we was watching, and this lady was on, and she killed. You know that lady killed her husband her ex-husband and his wife, and he told her, you know, what would she say, you, you know, you're fat. She put him through college, and then he married the secretary, and she was kind of like a rageaholic type of woman. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like, nobody ever said, you know, you have a rage problem. She, they just, like, they were like a, these group of people that kind of, like, fed off each other. Yeah. Like, you know, like, one person makes you enraged, and then you react, and yeah. kind of like, those kind of people pair off sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, and never, like, figure out what it really is so um anyway uh i'm watching her and she was doing something like she was talking like he was still alive mm -hmm. like every mo and she had this nervous laugh yeah and it was really unnerving to me so i started writing it so i wrote broken glass it wasn't about her it was it's about kind of inspired by that well yeah inspired by that my own mother and a lot of other women I knew. So I wrote a story about um, violence and how uh, the woman was raised in a violent home and then uh, she got herself in a violent relationship and then in the end she kills the guy. This is too heavy. It's Wait, a story. I know, this is it's so heavy. But this CD, it won't bum you out. It's, it's really... No, it's got, I will feel like Christmas for my husband. Yeah. It's, it's up, it's cool, and, and you all should go check it out and you should come back anytime okay, and do something else from it. Yeah. Cindy Lauper. <laughs> 